Hi, in this video series, we are going to begin a very important topic for a newcomer who wants to learn the web designing. And here, we are going to discuss about the CSS. CSS is basically a technology which is very much popular and is very indispensable for the web designing concepts. Nowadays, a lot of concepts like Bootstrap are totally based on the CSS. So here, before getting started by learning with the CSS concept, a candidate must be familiar with HTML. And after that, you must have a web browser and a text editor. Since here I am a Windows user, so I will use the text editors which is very much free of cost and any web browser of your choice like Chrome and Firefox. So once you have a knowledge of HTML, once you have these basic softwares like the text editor and the web browser, you are good enough to start with the CSS. So let's discuss about what the CSS is all about. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. Style sheet is the thing in which we are going to work. So basically style sheet means a list of a document means a document which is containing a list of all these styles which you want to define for a particular element on the web pages. For example, if you want to make a particular design for the heading tags, you can create a sheet of those styles. Similarly, for all the different tags, maybe the controls as well. So this style sheet will help you out in making this set of style rules. Secondly, there is something called cascading. Cascading means a flow. Whenever you will make changes on the top, it will be flown in the downwards direction. That means if you will make any changes in the style sheet, the changes will definitely be reflected in the web pages as well. The pages who are using those particular style sheets. By the time we will start explaining about the working or the functionality of CSS, we will get to know like how we can make the different sheets for different documents for the style sheet and the HTML. And when we will make some changes in the style sheet, the changes will be reflected to the HTML as well. Is used to control the style of a web document. As I said, it will contain a list of styles for the specific element or as per your choice, like you just want to make some list of styles and on any particular element you can apply that like for example if i have designed some font family the text color or something for a specific text i can apply this particular setting to a heading also to the paragraph as well handles the look and feel of the web page as i said it will contain the exact layout of a particular page so how you want your page to be look you can make that all inside this CSS. And now let's discuss about the advantages. Since we have HTML and using HTML as well, I can customize the look and feel of my web page. For example, I have a font tag in which we have an attribute like color, the family means the font face or some more attributes. So using that particular tag, I can customize the appearance of any text. So why should we go for CSS? So let's have an idea of that. Here we are talking about the advantage. It saves time. Saves time means you can design the set of style rules in a single document and later you can apply that in throughout your website. So every time when you are adding a new web page, you don't particularly have to define the set of styles again and again in a specific HTML tag. Page loads faster. When you add the HTML and you keep on adding the different tags like font or maybe some more with some more attributes, the HTML documents will be heavier and by the time the HTTP protocol will take that particular text to the web browser, the more HTML will take more time to get loaded. If you will make a separate form, I mean a separate document for CSS, the amount of HTML on a particular page will be lesser and it will be faster in loading. Easy maintenance. Since all these styles have been defined in a single document, so if I want to make some changes in my website appearance, I can do that by changing a single document and all the changes will be reflected to all the web pages in my website. Superior styles to HTML. 
Some of the tags are actually not containing the more styles for the appearance. For example, if you take h1 tag, h1 tag or any heading tag doesn't have a property or attribute which can change the text color. For example, if you want to say h1 color is equal to red, that is not going to work definitely. So using these styles, you can actually make the attributes applied on a particular tags which basically doesn't have those attributes. Multiple device compatibility. That means if you are creating a web page with the CSS, that particular web page will be compatible with any system like the different operating systems as well as with the different kind of devices, maybe laptop, desktop, mobile devices, it will be applicable to all. So these are the advantages of working with the CSS. So now using all these benefits in the next video onwards, we will start implementing the concept of CSS practically.